Have you ever shot slow motion footage that looks like this? Well, now I'm gonna show you how to shoot footage that looks like this in slow mo. Okay, back to the video. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Irvin. I've got a lot of people that came to me and asked me, how do I shoot smooth slow motion footage? And today in this video, I'm gonna explain you everything you need to know from how to use your cell phone to how to use your professional camera to shoot slow motion video. So if you are a beginner putting your foot into the world of filmmaking, or even if you are a pro and want some tips on how to get butter smooth slow motion, this video is for you. So first things first, what is slow motion? So slow motion is basically videos that are shot at higher frame rates from the everyday frame rate that we use like 24 frames per second or even 25 to 30 frames per second. So when I say higher frame rate, I mean from 50 frame rates up until 120 frame rate. Some cameras or even phones shoot much higher than that, up to 240, and the high, high end cameras can shoot up to like a thousand frames per second. So, what you need is an old phone or a camera that can shoot up to 50 frames per second to shoot slow motion. So, what are frames per second? So, frames per second is how many frames there is in your footage that you took. So, for instance, I'm shooting at 25 frames per second. So that means we have 25 frames in one second. So 25 photos in one second being displayed as video. Now, if we up that to 50 or even to 100 frames per second, because that's what I shoot in 100 frames per second when I try to slow my footage down. So when you shoot in 50 frames per second or even up, you have that amount of photos being displayed in one second, making it possible to slow your footage down to make it more smooth operator. <laughs> yeah, to make it more smooth in when you try to slow it down. Another pro tip you need is always do it where there are good lighting. So good lighting is a must, not always, but it's preferred to have good lighting when you're shooting slow motion or you are shooting in higher frame rates because the higher you go with your shutter and your frame rates, the less light is getting lit into your camera. And that is why you need really good lighting. You need it. <laughs> Sorry. Frame rates. So, no, shutter speed. So next up is shutter speed. Your shutter speed has to follow the 180 rule. And the 180 rule is that, so whatever frames per second you are shooting in, if I'm shooting 25 frames per second, my shutter needs to be one over 50. So when you are shooting slow motion footage, so if you're shooting in 50 frames per second, your shutter needs to be one over 100. When I'm shooting in 100 frames per second, I usually make my shutter one over 200. If you guys subscribe now and like this video, I might just go but deep into frame rates and shutter speed later in another video. So drop a comment below if you really want to see that and try to, yeah, yeah. Okay, so now you have shot your slow motion footage and you have it on your card, your card is loaded into your PC, Swap, you're ready to go now, Shinjai. Now I'm gonna show you guys how to edit these videos into smooth, slow motion footage in DaVinci Resolve, CapCut on the computer. So let's get into it. Okay guys, so we are starting off with DaVinci Resolve and here we have a clip. This clip is shot in 50 frames per second. Um, and it was also shot back in 2002, 2022. Sorry about that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just, I like that, that scene right there. So we're gonna put the in point and the out point. Just that small piece. We're gonna add it to our timeline. 
So the timeline settings are as follow. I'm editing in a 1080p timeline. I change my frame rate per second to 25. I also change my video bit depth to 8 bit because I'm shooting on the Sony A7 III. So firstly, we need to go to change speed. And as you can see, it's 100%. So this means it's playing the full 50 frames per second all each second is 50 frames but now we are in a 25 frames per second timeline so what i can do is i can slow it down by 50 percent and we can make this longer now and now we'll see this okay let's just play that against the original speed which is 100 so there's a slow down version that's the it doesn't look slow now let's change it back to 100 okay let's change it again to 50 frames 50 percent you can see it's a bit more stable and that's basically all you have to do if you want to slow down footage. Um, let's try another video. Maybe try this one. Let's take it from here. You can see it's a bit shaky. Let's take it to there. Okay. Let's put that in there. Um, we don't need this. We don't need the X. We don't need the Apple. Okay. So, real time. So let's just check how do I shoot 100 frames per second. Okay, let's go. So now this is shot in 100 frames per second. So we are in a 25 frames per second timeline. So if I take this down to 25, we'll have a super smooth slow motion video. <laughs> but something I also always do is to get a more slower or more smooth looking is putting on my optical flow optical flow is on for this video and i also would like to put a bit of stabilization on it because it's a bit shaky bongo so playing it back how does that look super smooth okay that's not like in line maybe do it like that zoom a bit more in and I think that's it. Perfect. Look at that how smooth that is. So this is slow down and this is original speed. Can you see the difference? Okay, cool. So now let's jump into CapCut. So here we have CapCut Mobile. Um, let's try this clip and uh, let's try different clips now. There's two clips. Okay, input. Here we go. So here we have our two clips next to each other. So the same for CapCut on PC. Just left click and go to. I'm not gonna lie, I actually don't know how to do this in CapCut and here's our two videos that's real time and this is real time okay so let's put both of them well just one in the timeline first it's speed here on top so we are in the 30 frame timeline that's like a cap cut go to thing default setting so what we need to do is this was shot also in 100 frames per second so i would like to slow this down 40 percent at least so there you can see super smooth and slow Oh, just look at that. 
no jittery things the frames look beautiful the waves look nice <laughs> the couple laughing in the background in the foreground sorry <laughs> just look how smooth everything is and that was just one click from here so just check the real time cool speed again play and let's put that on 40 percent you see the difference yeah man you can also put on smooth slow motion and it will do some processing blending your frames and it's gonna take a little bit of your time though <laughs> i can see that i've never used this before it's my first time using it um so let's check what the results look like <laughs> almost there almost there don't worry Okay, we are done. So let's check how it looks now with the super slow mo on. Doesn't look bad. Okay, guys, now you know the basics of how to shoot slow motion footage and how to edit slow motion footage. So now I want to challenge you go out today and film anything with all the tips that I just taught you guys now. Go and create a random video of something that you shot in slow motion, put it all together, add some music, put it as a reel, put it out on Instagram, so Instagram reels, put it, put it out on Instagram, put it out on TikTok and put it out on YouTube and tag me. That'd be cool to see what you guys create. And yeah, man, with this video, I want to tell you, you don't need the most expensive gear out there. You can use your phone that's in your pocket or your camera that you have. But just make sure your camera can shoot up until 50 frames per second. Like most cameras can today. But some cameras that can only do 50 or even 120 or up to 100 frames per second in 1080p. You don't always have to shoot in 4K because all the platforms out there just compress all your footage into 1080p quality so it's not even necessary to shoot 4k anymore but it is necessary to get that christmas christmas that crispness <laughs> to create good looking content so guys you've got the basics now go out go do it and thank you for sticking around Hit the subscribe button if this video was very helpful. If it wasn't helpful, still the subscribe and like so the algorithm can push this video out to more people to can teach them how to shoot slow motion footage with your with the phone or your camera. Yeah, man, <laughs> it was fun. So guys, I'll be talking about frame rates and shutter speed in the other video sometime. And yeah, I'm out. Okay, bye. <laughs> On to the next note.